G'day guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play the acoustic version of Gravity by John Mayer. Now, if you wanna learn the electric guitar version, which includes all the solos, licks and fills, then I'll leave a link to that in the description below. For the basics of this easy version, you'll need your guitar and standard tuning and you won't need a capo. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarsorityhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. The guitar I'm playing here today is the Orangewood Hudson. If you wanna find out more, there's a link in the description below. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, first let's start off with the strumming pattern that we're gonna use. And this strumming pattern will be used throughout the whole song. So it's really, really nice and simple. It just goes like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then succession, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Let's start with our verse chords and it's really nice and easy. We're gonna start with the G. We're gonna play that for two strumming patterns and then we're gonna go to a C chord and play that for two strumming patterns. So the verse is nice and simple, it sounds like this. Now one thing you can do to make this strumming pattern sound a bit nicer is accent certain strums. So hopefully you were able to hear there, but there were certain strums that I was playing a little bit louder than the other strums. So the accented down strums I'll highlight in the strumming pattern below. But if you play these ones a little bit harder, it will give the song a better feel. So again, with the accented strums. And that's it for the verse. Next we get to the chorus and there's two lines of chords here. We're going to start with an A minor seven. So it's the same as a C chord, except you lift your ring finger like that. We're gonna play that for two strumming patterns and then we're gonna to go to a D seven chord. So keep your index finger where it is, put your middle and ring on the second fret of the first and third strings. And we're just strumming from the fourth string onwards. So that's D seven, that's played for two strumming patterns. And then we go to a G minor slash B flat. So your ring and pinky finger will go on the eighth frets of the fourth and second string. Your middle finger will go on the seventh fret of the third string. And your index finger will hit the sixth fret of the sixth string. And you'll mute the fifth string by just lightly touching that string with your index finger as you hit the sixth string like that. So that's G minor slash B flat. And then we go to an E flat major seven. So to play that, you just move your index finger down one string. So that's E flat major seven. Then we go back to a D seven for one full strumming pattern and then we play it for one extra strum. So that's it for the chorus, which sounds like this all together. And those are all the chords to gravity. The song is just comprised of those two chord progressions, which is really, really easy. Again, if you wanna learn the electric guitar version with all the licks and fills, then there's a link to that in the description below. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. Big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Gravity is working against me. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.